Breaking news. Females, ladies, 2024 is fast approaching. I may have a word for you. Know, may have a word for we. It is time for us to stop being yam ed for the man them. Yes, I say it. I must say it boldly, loud and clear. Me I watch videos all over social media. People are talking about them business. I mean, I say a modern time now. A sensible time now. You know, robots who take over this earth. And we as women, we still are be clowned for man. We need to stop it. We need to grow up now. A time for we stop it. The only person who will be yammed for for God. For only be yammed for Jesus. Because trust me, if we be yammed for him, him not abuse we. Him not take disadvantage away. We need to stop be yammed to man. So for all those who don't know what yammed is, it is... Uh, the colloquial term that we Jamaicans use, I don't know if it's originated from any other country, but I know it's a colloquial term that we Jamaicans use to describe women who are head over heels in love, infatuated with men, generally those who are toxic for us. And they take disadvantage of us. Now, there is nowhere in the world that that could ever be something that is so shabby. There is no way in the world, nowhere in the world, that that could ever be something that is socially acceptable. And we need to stop accepting these terminologies and these situations upon ourselves and think them to be good it is time for us to lift up ourselves and have good self-esteem women females of the feminine gender the born females with the womb i'm talking about right it is time for us to elevate our mindsets 2024 is fast approaching. Let us have a New Year's resolution. Let us be independent. Let us not chase man for money. Let us not look at the man's body and think that because the body looks good, the mind is good also. Let us not be shallow in our thinking and the perspective right and let us know what a good quality man looks like it's not our deadbeat daddy it is sad that many of us we look for daddy unknowingly ignorantly in a partner and so we end up in this uh, toxic um cycle of abusive men in considerate men insensitive men that just takes our hearts and crush it on the ground and we consistently go and forgive them and continue with the brokenness you are able to do better you deserve better you deserve the best kind of man that is out there. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be cherished. You deserve to do You deserve to be looked after and cared for. You deserve someone who will call you back. You deserve someone who won't think you chat too much. You deserve someone who appreciates your physique and know that beauty fades so you don't have to go and get that butt lift, breast lift, jaw lift, lip lift and everything lift. 
You deserve someone who loves you for who you are. And that someone is out there. But we don't have to be man crazy and just think that we can't live or exist without being in a relationship. Single did we come into this world and the single shall we leave it. It's better to be alone than to be miserable, filled with heartache, pain, distress and depression for the rest of your life. Know what peace is and pursue it. And I pray that you know what love is. Many of us didn't receive that is love. And so the moment somebody comes and tells us they love us and we see the bare minimum of affection, we throw ourselves at them. Yes, we all have been there. But let us not stay there. Let us rise from that. If you feel you are in a weak position. If you feel as if you are stuck mentally and emotionally in a toxic place. There's always someone that can help you. And if you want some tools, some advice, and how to get out, just send me a DM. Send me a message in the inbox. And we'll talk about it. But you have to have a made-up mind that you need to make a change. And that you're going to actively work on it. We are not just going to talk for the sake of talking. But we're going to come to an active conclusion. And how you can begin to live your best life. In happiness, joy and peace. Alright? Love you.